Hi everyone, good morning, CJ here. And for today's video, what we will do is we will discuss the note-taking apps that you can use on your Huawei MatePad Pro. And uh, for this one, I'm saying notebook in particular, since this is one of the best, I think, one of the best note-taking app that you can use for your MatePad Pro, which is for free. <music> So before we start, I just want to show you the version and model of this MatePad Pro. So this one is um, a MatePad Pro. The model is MRXAL09 and the EMUI version is 10.1.0. The reason why I'm doing this is because I know that most of the times that there are applications that I was able to install on my MatePad Pro sometimes it's not working on the device that you have. I have here a notebook, notes, notepad, bamboo paper, and Debo for Huawei. So most of the videos that I've seen and um, when, I'm, when I was doing my research, most of them um, recommend bamboo paper and Debo for note-taking. Uh, for this one, I would wanna feature this notebook because I actually found this um, application very helpful especially if you are doing homeschool and later i'll show you why where can you install where can you install notebook all you just need to do is to go to huawei app gallery and you can actually type in note taking this one is actually free you don't need to pay for anything and you also do, you don't need to have a subscription as well which is actually good and that's what we we want right so we we normally want the things that we don't need to pay extra on okay. so let's go through it so on notebook since i already have it installed i won't be uninstalling it um i've actually uninstalled it and then i realized that i've erased most of the stuffs that i um typed in okay. anyways um okay um, I was playing around on the application a while ago, so you'll be able to see some stuff as well. So we just opened the application. So as you can see here, I have different um, notebooks, right? On these notebooks, you can actually arrange it. On the lower part, oh, sorry. You can actually create a notes. You can... Um, record you can take a photo create a checklist scribble and you can also browse scan a document add video or scan a table if you go on the side which is the settings if you have a Zoho account, you can log in. But if you don't have a Zoho account, that's just fine. The advantage of signing in is that if ever you would like to access your Zoho notebooks on a different device, all you just need to do is to install the application and then sign into your account. And all the things that you have here on this notebook, you will also see on that particular device. Okay, so going back here, on the settings you have notebooks which is this you also have the note cards so i've created some note cards a while ago um you also have your favorite so if you have a favorite note card or a favorite book you can actually put that here so under settings you have um you can create your default notebook your notes your keyboard shortcuts you can actually find it here. like to open English so in 
English. I've already typed in something here. Just what just just to show you that you can actually jot down and then also use a highlighter if you would like to like highlight something that you read it. some stuffs. Oh my god, how to draw a dog. Like here, you can also insert a photo. So like what I did. I took a picture of the Huawei M Pencil there you just want to create a checklist so let's say um, for creating a checklist unfortunately you cannot use your pen All the things that I've showed you, you can actually do on the other notebooks that you have. And you can even customize your notebooks. You can also um, change the color of your notebook if in case you'd like to use like um, the themes that is provided. Let's say, let's do the bike one. And there you have it you've already changed the notebook you can actually personalize pretty much everything here so those are the things that you can do on this application which is notebook okay so you, this is actually a virtual notebook that you can use in a day-to-day -day basis especially if you're doing homeschool and I hope that you find this video helpful if in case you do put it on the comment section below and also give this video a thumbs up and also, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button if in case we have new uploads to get notified. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye!